tumbles down I'm a red ring blackbird Sit singing on the fence I'm a red wing blackbird Sing sitting on a fence This ain't it's okay all day but no one seems convinced say ahoy! ahoy I've been singing that song to myself all week out in the country out in the country written by Greg Brown making believe of a hot summer day in Iowa it was Greg Brown I believe when he wrote that song I think it got stuck in my head while I was playing make believe with my little boy a few days ago he was pretending to fly and attack his prey and I was pretending that I wasn't looking at my phone but getting to make believe again is one of the great joys of parenthood. You know what for sure isn't? Applying for kindergarten. It's uh, horrible is I think the word I'm looking for. These applications make you feel like if your kid isn't an actual superhero with a super compelling origin story to match, don't even bother. I thought our four-year-old was an adorable, happy little kid with a bright future ahead of him until I started having to answer questions like, and I quote, how is your child going to help actualize this school's sense of community? Ah, <laughs> uh, by enrolling? Which of your child's accomplishments will be most enriching to their fellow classmates? <laughs> well, he almost never licks his finger after he picks his nose anymore. <laughs> Describe your child. Sweet? <laughs> Sticky? <laughs> uh, we are completely at a loss, and so we decided to ask Calvin. Hey, buddy. Uh, what would you like this school to know about you? Well, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Which, oh my God, clears up so much. Uh, and also proves he's my child because my own origin story is virtually the same. I, too, was a dinosaur. In fact, the first song I ever wrote was my own theme song as a rampaging two-year-old T-Rex. And I regret to inform you, dear listener, that I remember every note of that <laughs> theme song. Dun, 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 Wait for it. Dun. Oh yes, 
Oh yes, really the only thing that's changed since then is I have a band now. Um, thank you so much, I love you. <laughs> hey, as Kurt Vonnegut put it, we are what we pretend to be. And the ferns in my backyard never actually turned into that mighty Jurassic forest I was imagining, but my mom's old wooden tennis racket did turn into this mandolin. And uh, dad's trusty toilet plunger is in fact this microphone on the stand in front of me. <laughs> right now. We are what we pretend to be. And Vonnegut continues, so we must be careful about what we pretend to be. I'm not sure which Brooklyn kindergartens are looking to actualize their communities with a dinosaur, <laughs> but I hope Calvin keeps pretending to be one. Pretty cool origin story, if you ask me.